Hello Rocketeers! Welcome to another installment of the custom Hearthstone expansion, Mission to Argus. In this video, we'll be looking at all the cards for Shaman, so buckle up. Shaman gets two entirely new archetypes this expansion. Let's start by taking a look at the cards for the first one, which I call Switcheroo Shaman. The archetype is centered all around the new Shaman legendary minion, the Eye of Antorus. The Eye of Antorus is a 3-0-4 totem that will gain plus one attack at the start of each of your turns. Once the Eye is killed, it will swap with a minion from your deck with the same attack as the Eye. If there is no minion to swap with, the death rattle whiffs and the Eye will not return to your deck. So how do you make use of this new Eye of Antorus? Well, you could use it alongside some of the new spells from the expansion, such as Shifting Seasons. Shifting Seasons is a one mana frost spell that will draw an elemental and give it plus one plus two. What does this have to do with the eye, you ask? Well, Shifting Seasons is a shifting spell, which is a new type of spell that switches school, and Shifting Seasons will switch to a nature spell once you cast a nature spell. As a nature spell, Shifting Seasons will instead draw a totem and give it plus two plus one. This plus two attack is very important, but we'll come back to that later. Another spell for this archetype is Spiritual Communion. Spiritual Communion is a four mana nature spell with Overload 1 that will summon a random one, two and three cost minion from your deck. Note that the Eye of Antorus costs three mana and will often find its way to your deck, so you'll likely be summoning that. Like I said, this is also a nature spell and could be used to switch the school of your shifting seasons. But what if you switch to school and you want to switch back? Well, you could use the new frost spell, Cosmic Chill. This zero mana frost spell will freeze a minion and shuffle a copy of the minion into your deck. The copy won't be frozen though. If you use this on your Eye of Antorus, you'd always have another eye available to swap with. So what else could the Eye of Antorus pull from your deck? Perhaps the Enslaved Element Totem. This 6 mana 2 6 elemental totem has taunt and a death rattle that will draw both an elemental and a totem and reduce their cost by 3. This card is the reason giving plus 2 attack to your Eye of Antorus might be a good idea. If you swap the eye with an enslaved element totem, it might even draw the eye again once it dies. In that case, the eye would cost 0 mana so you could instantly play it and the cycle would continue. What I haven't mentioned is that the Enslaved Element Totem also has tradable, so even if you draw it, you could always shuffle it back into your deck for the eye to swap with. That's the bulk of the Switcheroo Shaman package, but this set also includes other minions for the eye to swap with, such as the Wild Constellation. Wild Constellation is a 3 mana 1 4 elemental beast with Rush, Wind Fury, and the expansion's new keyword, Retaliate. Wild Constellation has Retaliate too meaning it will return 2 bonus damage to any character that damages it. Another minion for the eye to swap with is the Totem of the Void. This is a 1 mana 0 2 totem with lifesteal and overload 1 that will deal 2 damage to a random enemy at the end of your turns. While these last two cards might see play in the Switcheroo Shaman deck, they truly belong to Shaman's other archetype, which doesn't have a fancy name. I just call it Keyword Shaman. Like the name suggests, Keyword Shaman focuses on minions with keywords, or bonus effects as they're also called. To support this archetype, Shaman gets the new minion, Astral Harvester. This 2 mana 3 2 minion will gain Rush if you played a minion with Rush, as well as Taunt, Divine Shield, Wind Fury and Lifesteal if you played any minions with those keywords. The foundation for this archetype is the new legendary minion, Alakir, Starlord. <laughs> This new Alakir is a 6 mana 3 6 elemental mech with Rush, Divine Shield, Taunt and Wind Fury. Upon death, Alakir will spread all its keywords and his death rattle to a random minion in your hand. The finishing touch for this new deck is the spell Interstellar Stories. This 2 mana spell will give a minion plus 1 plus 1 and then repeat if the minion has Rush, Taunt, Divine Shield, Wind Fury or Lifesteal. The spell will repeat for each of those keywords the minion has, up to a maximum of plus 6 plus 6. That's it for all of Shaman's new cards. Thanks for watching. I tried something new with the intro. It was just a weird idea I had, but I don't imagine it'll be the norm. Let me know what you thought, and don't forget to subscribe for any updates to the expansion. In the next video, we'll be looking at all the cards for Hunter in the custom Hearthstone expansion, Mission to Argus.